here. My name is Lauren and welcome to the Life Lessons Wellness Program. I am also here with some co-hosts. We have Carly. Good morning. Carly, can you say hi to everybody? Good morning. I'm also here with Canmar Paul. Canmar Paul, can you say hi to everybody? Hello, everyone. And I'm here with Danielle. Danielle, can you say hi? Hello. We are so excited. Hi. I'm seeing lots of faces here today. Some old faces, some new faces. It is so nice to meet you all. And we really appreciate you joining us on this Thursday morning. So on Thursdays, Canmore Paul, what are we doing today? We're making apple dip sim. sim, sim. Yeah, we're yeah. going to be cooking today with apples. So before we begin, just a few little reminders. If you're by yourself, then feel free to turn on your cameras. We would love to see your beautiful faces. If you are in a classroom and you can't turn your cameras on, that's okay because we can chat to you with the chat function. Also, if you haven't already done so, then if you hover your mouse over the three dots in the top right hand corner, you can change your name so we know how to address you. Okay. Another little reminder because we're in the kitchen, let's talk a little bit about kitchen safety. Right now I have the oven on and I will be using a sharp knife. So what's important when we are in the kitchen and cooking? What can we do to help stay safe? We use a, a knife. Exactly, we can use a knife with, maybe we can have someone help us with the knife. And don't hurt your hand or burn your hand. Exactly, we're gonna be really careful with our fingers. We're going to have a trusted person with us that can help us. What about with the oven, what should we do? Have someone else put the oven on for you. Exactly. We have somebody else put the oven on. They can help us put our delicious food into the oven. Any other thoughts? Or do we think we're good? I think we're good. Do not forget awesome. to tie your, ha uh, your hair, Lauren. <laughs> and you think you should tie my hair up? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I should tie my hair up. But you know, today I'm not using the oven. So I thought that it would be fun not to. But that's a great idea because if I do share my food with other people, I don't want to get my hair in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys always reminding me about my hair. Thank you. So now we're ready to get started. But I think that before we start, do you think we should start with a little game? Yes. <laughs> I think so too. So I'm going to get some theme music on to get us up and excited in the morning. This one goes out to you, Miguel. And while we're getting the music going, then we're gonna talk about the apples I have in front of me. So I have a Honeycrisp, a Gala, and a Fuji apple. So which one do we think is the Honeycrisp? One, two, or three? One. I think that's that one you're pointing at. One? What about you, Canmar Paul? Uh, I'll say three. You'd say three. Anybody, if you have your guesses, feel free to throw it in the chat. I see 217, 219 also says the first one, and everyone is correct if you said the first one. That is our honey press. And then I have a gala and a Fuji. Do we think the gala is this one or this one? So do we think it's one or two? Which one's our two. gala? One. Two. Danielle thinks two. Canmar Paul thinks one. What does everybody else think? Two or one? <laughs> it is actually number one. Our gala is this one and that makes us our Fuji. And I see we have Adrian to everybody. Hi, Adrian. Hi, it's very nice to meet you. Hey. Thanks for joining us today. Now it's time for our little game. I have the music all warmed up. Miguel, I believe that you mentioned that you really liked this song in the last episode. We all listened to it after that episode and we loved it too. So we thought that we could play it today. Now, for this game, I 
I'm going to choose one apple and you guys have to try to keep your eyes on it, okay? We're gonna see if you can remember which apple is Honeycrisp. Because Honeycrisp is my favorite. Burn Honey Honeycrisp. So everybody knows which one's Honeycrisp, it's this one. Time to mix it up. Keep your eye on the Honeycrisp. Tanmar, Paul, you can tell me when to stop. Whoa. Stop, stop. Stop. Okay, everybody. Let's get your guesses in. Which one is our honey press? Is it one? Is it two? Or is it three? three. Um, one. I have one vote for one. What do you think, Carly? Number two. Two. What do you think, Tanmar, Paul? I will say number one. Number one. I'm gonna take a look at our chat. Mm. 217 says in the middle, number two. And Adrian says number one. In fact, it is number two. Uh, Good job, everybody. Way to focus. I had lots of fun with that little game. And I'm very excited now that we're going to make apples in different ways, okay? So, we are going to turn off our theme music for the morning. Thank you, Miguel, again for that. And we're going to get started. So, everybody knows that there's lots of different ways we can eat apples, right? Yeah. We were talking this morning about our favorite way to eat apples. Carly, what's your favorite way to eat an apple? I'm eating a regular apple. So eat it you like to eat it way. plain? Eat it That's plain. a great idea. What about you, Tanmar? Paul, how do you like your apples? Mm, plain. You like to eat it plain. And Danielle, how do you like yours? I like mine peeled and sliced. Peeled and sliced. That is awesome because today we actually have a peeler and a slicer. <laughs> so we're gonna get to using this very shortly. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about the nutrition of an apple. So while I do this, I'm thinking, should I start move? Maybe I'll start pouring first. So we're gonna do apple chips and we're gonna do regular apples. So for now, I'm gonna use the honey crisp and start slicing it because I hear that Tanmar, Paul and Carly like to have their apples plain. So as I'm going to very carefully slice this juicy apple, we're gonna talk about apple juice, okay? So who likes apple juice? Uh -huh. Do you guys like apple juice or not so much, or just any juice? Uh, no, I just like chocolate milk lately. <laughs> chocolate milk, nice. What about you, Tanmar Paul? Are you an apple juice person? No. I just drink water. And water. I'm an apple juice person. Anybody else watching? Do we have any apple juice or juice fans? We do, says room 217 and 219. Awesome. So having juice and having smoothies is one way to get lots of the vitamins and minerals in our body from delicious fruits and vegetables. So it's a nice way to try to get those little um i think we used this word before do we think vitamins and minerals are micronutrients or macronutrients what do we think micro or macro macro i think it's macro. i hear a macro what do you think danielle micro or macro micro micro yeah and danielle actually you i remember you taught a lesson with me about this a few months yeah. ago yeah. So vitamins and minerals are actually micronutrients. So they're very small, very tiny. And when you have juices, then you can get all those little nutrients in your body. But right. for the macronutrients, for the bigger parts, it's actually better to have your fruits and your vegetables whole. Yeah, but juices have added sugar to them. So it's not good yes. for you. Sometimes and you would have extra sugar with um, your juices too. 
Another real um, important thing about having your fruits and vegetables whole is that you get lots of fiber in it. So fiber is really good for your digestive system. And it's also really good for absorbing things into our bodies. So do you remember that we were talking about, um, oh, we were talking about curcumin and piperine a few weeks ago. Do you remember those words when we were using turmeric? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So just a little reminder, the piperine, so putting black pepper mixed with our turmeric, it helps our body soak up all those really good nutrients. So when we have fiber, it makes the food go through our system nice and slowly. So our body has time to soak it all up. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Yeah, so it's good to have a balance of using whole fruits and vegetables versus only having juices all the time. One really yummy way to have your fruits is to try to mix it up so you don't always have it the same way. So today I cut up my apples and this is one way we can eat it. We can eat it fresh and that's how Carly and Canmar Paul, you said you like to eat your fruits, right? Yes. Awesome. Another way we can eat it is who likes chips here? Raise your hand if you like chips. I see at least one hand going up. We're gonna make apple chips. Have you tried apple chips before, Carly? Uh, not apple chips, oh my God. I have the regular chips. You've had regular chips before, awesome. And I see that Adrian's saying to everybody out there, Raptors. Awesome, I wonder if the Raptors like apple chips. Have you had them before, Danielle? Yes, they have. Awesome. Well, I today like we are though. going to make them. And we're going yeah, to yeah, make I don't them like using... Them. You're not very fond of them? No. That's okay. Because you can have them fresh, like how we cut them over here. Yeah, so for people yeah. who do want to try an apple chip, I'm going to use this handy dandy apple peeler and core. So oh first, my God. <laughs> I know. I'll show you how to use it a little bit. I haven't used it in so many years. I think it's pretty old. So it has a little suction at the bottom. So this is gonna help it so that it doesn't slip and slide around everywhere. So I actually, I put water at the bottom and then I'm going to move this little lever and click it into place. So do you think if I try to ah, push it, sorry, be careful with it <laughs> because it could be sharp and hard. Do you think if I try to push it, it's going to move now? Yes. Yes. What do you think, Hanmar? Paul, will it move if I push it around? I think I mean. Yes. It will move? What do you think, Danielle? Hmm. Uh, no. No? Yeah, look. It's pretty secure into place, which is really cool and great for our apples. So I'm going to put the little spikes all the way at the back. And now I'm going to attach our apple onto the core. So we're going to get it right in the middle. Oops. Here. And it actually moved a little bit. So I'm going to re put that into place. Perfect. And then now let's hope it should peel and pour. Yep. Peeling. Wow. Beautiful, okay. Now I'm going to take them out and look, we have beautiful apple slices. Perfect. <laughs> I know, it is very perfect. So I'm just gonna snap them out. We can put them in this bowl because I'm also going to sprinkle some cinnamon on it. Oh, perfect. I know, I am looking forward to having a yummy snack for the rest of my day okay do you think i should make one more apple yes awesome yeah. one more so this part we're going to be real careful because it can be a little pointy carly do you have a favorite kind of apple or do you like them all i like the regular apple like the regular apple we buy from the store i'll just have yeah. the regular. Or I'll just, do you like them um, red or green? I'll just have the red one. 
I would normally have bananas too. So. Bananas, those are great. What about you, Tanner and Paul? Do you have a favorite kind of apple or color? Red apple. Red, me too. Mm. Woo, this one is a juicy apple. Delicious. Another beautiful apple. Look, sliced oh, I apple. I like it cut that way. That's a good way to cut it. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> I love these little smart inventions. They're very fun to use. I'm not going to get rid of the apple peels because it has so much nutrients in it. So I'm going to save them and try to think of a way to enjoy them later. I see in the chat, some of us have tried apple trips, but some have not. Oh, delicious. I'm so excited to hear that. You bought a bag from the store to try. I wonder how they taste. It's yummy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, have you tried them, Carly? Uh, it has what? Uh, from the store, perfect. I uh, no. Um, no, not from the store. Well, maybe you would want to try some of these apple chips. So before I put them onto my pan, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. Room 217 and 219, are your apples flavored or are they just plain? I like the plain ones too. Plain today, yummy. This is one of my favorite things to do is we're going to mix all the cinnamon around the apples. These bowls are great because they're so big, so they won't fall out. A bit more cinnamon. Yum, yum. A bit more mixing. Then I'm going to lay it onto my pan, and then I think that we're ready to make some delicious dips. Okay, so here you can see my pan. We're gonna just make lay them out in rows so that they're not touching. Huh. Now, who's made cookies before? I make cookies. Yeah, you do, Carly. And do cookies expand when you cook them? Yes, when it yeah. was in the oven. When you make no, it. no, no, you gotta take them out first. So you when you make strong. cookies, Danielle, does it grow? <laughs> no. No? So sometimes when you bake something, then it'll grow, okay? Now with apples, do we think that it's gonna grow when we put it into the oven? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You think it'll grow? What do you think, Canmar Paul? Will these apples grow? And anybody else watching, what do you think? Yeah, apple grow, yeah. Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah. Actually, these apples will shrink. So, if you can see, then they're not touching, but they're pretty close together. Do you know why they're gonna shrink when we put it in the oven? So it's gonna cook. Yeah, it's gonna cook, and all the water that's in it is going to evaporate into the air. So you know when it rains and then the sun comes out and then the ground is dry after? Yeah, that's what happens when water evaporates. So the same little thing is gonna happen to our apple chips. I have the oven on at 200 degrees. And I'm gonna put my timer on for 60 minutes. So we're gonna do one hour, and then we're actually gonna cook it for another one to two hours. So it's gonna be in there a long time. We're not gonna have a chance to see how they turn out today. But luckily, you I have apple, these... Lauren? Pardon? You just ate apple. I did, it was delicious. It was really yeah, tempting because it had cinnamon on it. One of my favorite ways to eat an apple. We're going to try to make some apple dips. So it's really easy to make it. And if some people find it hard to get your fruits and veggies in, then this is a great way to add a nutritious and delicious twist. I have three yeah. bowls in front of me. So one has honey over here. And then I have a nut butter over here and a sunflower butter. So you know me, I love my nut butters. Canmar Paul, I don't think I've talked to you about your favorite nut butter. Do you have a favorite kind of butter you use? Mm, regular butter. Regular butter. Have you ever had peanut butter or almond butter? Yeah, I try peanut butter. Do you like it or you're not too fond of it? Yes, I do. Awesome. 
So what about you, Danielle? Uh, peanut butter for me. Peanut butter and Carly, you? I, I like the regular butter. Like I regular, regular butter. Awesome. So we're actually going to mix together our yogurt with different kind of butters and honeys. I don't think that using normal butter would give it a really delicious flavor, but you could maybe try it. So right now in one of the bowls, I have a spoon of honey. I'm adding a spoon of yogurt. In the other bowl, I have a spoon of sunflower seed butter, also adding a spoon of yogurt. And in my last one, I have a nut butter that actually has three different kinds of nuts in it. So I think there's cashews, almonds. I don't remember the last one, maybe hazelnut. I hope it's hazelnut. And then it also has some flax seeds in it. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm very excited as you can see. I'm gonna give it a good mix. And you should definitely do this with peanut butter too. It tastes delicious. Which one would you try, Tanmar? Paul, would you wanna try the honey one or the nut butter? Honey one. Honey, what about you, Danielle? Would you want to try the dip with honey or nut butter? Would you want to try peanut butter one or honey one? Uh, peanut butter. Yummy. You could even add honey in with the nut butters. Delicious. What about anyone else who's watching? What would you want to try? I see Haley, she's not a fan of honey. Do you like nut butters, Haley? Would you want to try it with peanut butter or maybe sunflower seed butter? I actually, I've never tried the sunflower seed butter one before either. So I think that'll be a nice treat. Perfect. So you can see it gets very smooth, silky, flavorful. I think another good idea would be if people like sweet things, what about trying maple syrup? Do you think that would be good? You can try it if you want. <laughs> yeah? I can experiment one day and I'll let you guys know how it is. Mmm. The honey one looks and smells so good. I actually, I wonder if I have vanilla. I do have some vanilla. So I think if I have, yes, a knife. I'll add some vanilla into the honey. What kind of things do we use vanilla in, Carly? I know you like oh, to bake a lot. Um, I use it for co really cookies, pumpkin, my, my mom's pumpkin. Okay, so I'll just do a little splash of vanilla. Okay, so now here we have it. We have three different dips. We have two different kinds of apples. I think we've had quite the productive morning. What do we think? Yes, we had a good yeah. morning. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm so excited. Thank you everyone for helping make my snacks for the day. I think it's a good time to take a break and then we'll come back for some mindfulness, mindfulness <laughs> meditation, and chat with us. Okay. See you in a few minutes. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Danielle? Good. Good. Awesome, and Carly. I'm good, Harry. <laughs> I'm doing great, and Canmar Paul. Yes. You're doing awesome, perfect. It is so nice to see you're all back here again. And I see Isaac, you're saying that you like honey. Awesome. I enjoy honey too. I was snacking on some of the dips during the little break, and they are so delicious. So I hope that if anybody else gets to try them then you enjoy them too so nice to see you all here today yash i see that you came back to join us how are you doing have you do you like apples yes i do how do I you like to eat your apples yes i i, I know i i i heard that one one some someone was saying an apple a day keep the doctors away doctor away oh i've heard that too hopefully we kept the doctors away today Oh. Yes, I, yes, I, I, I do eat apples though. I know I like drinking apple juice, apple pie, eating apple mm. pie, and apple crumbles. <gasps> Delicious! You know what? I think that we're gonna have a show soon, and we're gonna make apple crumble inside the microwave. Yes. So oh, hopefully you get to see that one. Yes, and 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 apple pie in the oven. And apple pie in the oven. That's a great idea too. I don't remember the last time I've made apple pie before, but that sounds like a great thing to experiment. Yes, like 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 like, like in in apple pie, we, we we put brown sugar, apple sauce, spices, 
Oh, that sounds awesome. Thanks for sharing, Yash. So and, many and, different and, ways and, to eat and apples. And cinnamon too. And cinnamon too. Mmm, apples and cinnamon are delightful. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I also see we have a new friend joining us today, Adrian. Hello, hi, Danielle, can you say hi to Adrian for all of us? Hi, Adrian. Hi. I like pancakes with on apples. I think oh, I'm ready. That so I'm good. ready to do this. Wait, I'm ready to do this. I can't, but today's it's, uh, summer. One of my friends passed away on Thursday. Yeah, I'm ready for the summer. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, that's such a beautiful picture. Thanks for showing us, Adrian. He passed by. Thank you for I'm... joining us here today, though. We're really excited to have you here. Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry to hear about your friend. Thanks. Yeah, I know that you may recognize some faces from camp. Do you? Well, a little bit. Awesome. I've heard that you are a wonderful camper in the summertime, so I'm really excited to meet you. Bowler. You mean bowling champion. Bowling <laughs> champion, too. Wow. Hey. Have you done any bowling lately? Uh, yeah, I did some bowling. I went bowling. You do a bowling too, Harley? Yeah, I go to CC bowling. Wow. That's so exciting. We all have so many common interests. And that leads me to our conversation for the day of sharing. So we're all sharing our interests, we're sharing our feelings. Who's heard the word sharing before? I heard it before. You've heard it before, Carly? What does sharing mean to you? Sharing means you gotta share with other people. Yeah, you can give stuff to other people. What about you, Tanmar Paul? What do you think of when you think of sharing? Eating together. Eating together. I like that a lot. That's a great way to think about sharing. What about you, Danielle? Uh, sharing to me is just maybe taking turns. Taking, taking turns, turns. That's, that's a, a great way also. There's so many different examples of sharing. What about you, Isaac? I see you have your hand up. Yes, 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 I do. So when should I think about showing? I am think one of these days I get to do, 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 heaven showing it is scary. Showing it is scary. Showing it is scary. One day, you know, as you last, 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 last word, though, as you know, God. God likes sharing. She says yes. to like, like sharing. She likes to, 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 to share. Awesome. Thank you, Isaac. Yeah. I really love the little quote that you use. Sharing is caring. That's a really great way to think of the word and to try to use it in our daily lives. So, Danielle, why do we think that sharing is important? It makes the other person feel good. And yeah, you want to share with other, other people, people too. Exactly. It can make the other person feel really good. We're sharing with people around us. What do you think, Canra? Paul, why is it important way, to share? A way to, it's a good way to make friends. Awesome, Danielle. Yeah, people feel really, um, they feel really happy when they're shared with, right? Yeah. Whether maybe you're sharing um, some of your clothes or toys, toys. or just thoughts and feelings too. And when you play with your friends, you must share too. <laughs> yeah. Do you like when people share with you, Carly? Yes. I learned this at school, how to share with other people. And uh, give, uh, play, if they're playing, you should play with them too. We used to do a uh, breakout, but not too hot. We used to do, uh, have a conversation in our class with all the kids. <laughs> oh, and did everybody get a turn to talk? Yes, they did. They talked about what they we should share how to share um what we what we did last night what did we do we did this oh we did this in, in person i think we did it. that's really cool so you guys would share about different things that you were doing too yes we did awesome can our paul i see julian has his hand up can you ask julian what he's thinking about julian what do you think what what do you do on your share well, I've 
I've heard of this before as well. <laughs> Not only am I sharing some of my stuff. Nice apples we saw. Were we making apple pie or apple crumble? <laughs> um, today we are actually not making apple pie or apple crumble. We I made guess. apple chips. I like that's too sweet for me. <laughs> yeah. I know what else I found as good as sharing. What is good so, when you share? Someone borrowed someone's car. I saw. Oh, that's a very thoughtful thing to share. I like that part. I love when I found. I like maple syrup, especially on waffles, pancakes, and French toast. Mm, that sounds so good. I think after the show, maybe I should make some pancakes with apples or and even, maple syrup. What about waffles or even French toast? That would be delicious too. I love all breakfast foods. So yeah. I love when people share breakfast ideas with me. So thank you. Well, that's why I heard giving instead of taking. Yeah, giving is such a nice way to share. Thank you, Julian. And I believe I hear some meditation music going on right now. I think it's a good time for us to meditate. So everybody, we are going to take a deep breath in, get in a relaxing seat, either stand, sit, lie down. Let's close our eyes. We're going to breathe in through our nose. Fill your tummy with air for five, four, Three, Three, two, two one. one. And then we're going to breathe it out for five seconds. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Awesome. Okay, everybody, we can slowly open our eyes. And I think that this is a good time to have some chats. Now I hear that there is a very special someone who is celebrating their birthday soon. And that may be Canmar Paul, is that you? I think yes. you're on mute. Awesome. In room 217 and 219 have a birthday today too. <laughs> that is so exciting. Happy birthday to whoever is in room 217 and 219. Carly, what do you think? Should we sing happy birthday? Yes, I think happy birthday you too. Awesome. I would love my friends to help sing with me too. So happy birthday to Tanner Paul, 219 and 217. Uh, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That was so awesome. Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you five? Are you six? Are you seven? Are you eight? Are you nine? Are you ten? Are you seven? Are you twelve? Are you 13? Are you 14? Are you 15? 16? We are at a are you? beautiful how, age. How, we how, are, how 19. are you now? I'm still still 26. No, the book. I'm still still 26. I'm not. No, I die. Die. Die younger than you. No, no, die. A younger than me. Not more. No, no, no. 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 No, <laughs> and I'm so excited that everyone's sharing birthdays. Hannah or Paul, you have special plans next week, don't you? Yes. What are you up to next week? On my birthday on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I'm going to New York. That sounds pretty cool to me. Thanks, yeah. Hannah or Paul. I see Adrian has his hand up. Um, Carly, can you see how Adrian's doing? Adrian, how are you doing? Good, my birthday was in February for mine. Hey, my oh, birthday awesome. is in February. Yeah. I am uh, 39. 39. Wow, happy belated birthday, Adrian. Oh, wow, 39? Yeah. Wow. Oh, look, you don't look 39. Hey, I feel <laughs> the, hey bowling champion. Bowling champion. That's oh, thanks for showing us. Invitational 2017. That's so cool. You'll have to te teach us some bowling tricks. 
Yeah, next time you come down, I teach you guys a couple of awesome. tricks of mine. We do physical activity on Tuesdays. Maybe that could be like a fun field trip one day. Yeah, I come down to my alley on the alley on Tuesdays. Thank Nine. you, Adrian. I also see we have Miguel here with us. Panmar Paul, can you say hi to Miguel? How's he doing? Hi, Miguel. How hi, are you Miguel. doing? Hi, Miguel. Bert, who's birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you, bro. Birthday. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, bro. I'm 32 years old. Wow. Oh, nice. I'm 21. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm 30. Huh? Awesome. It's so nice that we have so many different ages and people with us today. Yeah. Miguel, did you like the song we played at the beginning? I'm just, can I ask you a question? How old, do you, how old do you think I look? Uh, I don't know. I'm not good with definitions. Uh -huh, uh -huh, 20. <laughs> and we see Haley. Who is yeah. Hi. You, you're welcome. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you everybody else for joining us today. I see we have Haley here. It's so nice reading all your chats. It's nice to see you all. And thank you for all the classrooms for participating too. You'll have to tell us if you made any of the dips or if you ever try to make the homemade chips, how they turn out. Sound like a plan? And that is our closing music. Hi. 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 Hi.